Hello, my name is Anas Ganganath, and today I'm going to conduct an experiment that will prove or disprove my hypothesis. My hypothesis is communication over the network can be viewed, captured, altered, and spoofed. Now, before we start, we will need to know some background knowledge. I set up a wired network for my computer, and I'm going to uh, view, capture, alter, and spoof the packets going through my sister's computers using my computer. To do that, I will take a switch, which is a device that helps you connect with other computers without needing to go over the internet, and I am going to use the cables called LAN cables, which stand for Local Era Network, and as you can see, these lead to my sister's computers, see, in here. This LAN cable, and also to another computer, and also to my little sister's computer. Now, what this enables us to do is to talk together without needing to go over the internet. The next thing we will need to know is what a packet is. I'll explain what it is shortly. Data is sent in a unit called packets. Packets have something called an IP address, um, and that IP address tells where the packet should go to. And it also has a source address, which tells the computer that's receiving the IP address where the packet came from. Now, inside a packet, there's even a smaller unit of data, and it's called a byte. In a byte, there are, uh, I mean, in a packet, there are usually 1,000 to 1,500 bytes. Okay, so in a byte, there is 8 bits. A bit is usually one binary digit, a 1, or a 0. Earlier, I mentioned something called spoof in my hypothesis. Spoof just means if you act as someone else and send a message to someone. So. I found out that with Wireshark, as a middleman, we can view the packets if we have this application called Wireshark. So we're going to go ahead and install Wireshark with sudo apt install Wireshark. Okay, well, I already installed Wireshark, so what appears on my screen is not going to appear on yours. Sudo. Um, means super user, that means you're going to have to put your password in. And apt install is just meaning to get the application. And so we're going to enter. We're going to have to put our password. Okay. Zero uh, needed to upgrade. I'm on the newest version, so I'm just going to go ahead and open Wireshark. Okay, um, I open Wireshark, and we're going to capture, um, Ethernet, which is wired. I'm going to start the capture. I'm going to apply a filter. I'm going to put IP. Packets have, remember, I told you, um, packets have a source and a destination. Well, with that, we can apply a filter. Dark. And we're ready to capture the packets going between my sister's computers. So I'm going to send a message from computer one, which is the computer with the leaf background, to my big sister's computer, which is the computer with the moon background. I'm going to send a message. Let's go to the beach. I'm going to send it, and it arrived at my big sister's computer, computer 2, and it also arrived at my computer, and if we look at it, uh, if we look at the packet through Wireshark, we can see the data portion of it, and it says, let's go to the beach. Now we are going to um, save the packet that we captured in the file, in a pcap file. 
I'm gonna name it Captured Packet Dash One. And I'm gonna save it as a PCAT file. Now, if we look at the packet that we captured, um, I named it Captured Packet One. And the we're gonna spoof this packet and send it to my big sister's computer, and that computer will think that uh, the sender is my little sister, but actually it is me. Um, and my IP address is 192.168.200.12, but over here it says the source is dot seven, and the destination is one four. So we are going to spoof this packet and send it to my big sister's computer. Okay, to do that, we will have to replay it using a command called TCP replay. TCP replay dash i so Ethernet um, interface E N P zero uh, S three one f six and the file's name which is captured packet dash one dot pcap we're gonna send it um before we send it i will um switch my screen to my big sister's screen Okay, and we're gonna send it. Okay, um, the reason that this did not work because we did not put a super user sudo. If we put that, we would have succeeded. So let's go ahead and put sudo. And as you can see, over here, the packet was sent. And if we switch to my big sister's computer, we can see that the source is dot seven, but it actually was me. And if we switch back to my my computer, you can see that the source was dot seven, but it was actually me. The final step in this experiment is to um, alter the packet that we captured earlier and we will um, send it back to my sister's computer using TCP replay to alter it we will uh, to alter the packet we will use a application called ghex which I'm going to open sudo ghex um, Okay, let's open packet one. Now, it says over here, let's go to the beach. That is the message I sent to, uh, um, that is the message my little sister sent to my big sister. Let's go to the beach. Now, let's find the starting point of this, which is L, right over here. There's the packet, and we're going to alter it. Now let's change it to let's go to the mall. Okay. Now we will save as packet two. Yes. Let's send it to my big sister's computer as my little sister's computer um, which is spoof and then we're going to alter it and if this works it will prove that my hypothesis is correct so using TCP replay we will uh, send the um, altered packet which is packet 2 and we will send it my big sister's computer.
Okay, let's switch the screens to my big sister's computer. This is my big sister's computer, and as you can see, Y Shark is ready to capture the packets, and I am also capturing the packets at my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and send it. And if we look over here, the packet will arrive. If you look at my sister's computer, you can see that the packet has arrived. And if we click it, it says, let's go to the mall. So this proves that we can alter packets as a middleman. We can spoof packets as a middleman. We can also view and capture packets. My conclusion is that with some with some effort we can do all these things and um, as you can see um, the internet the network is not always safe and that you should always be vigilant.